football halftime coaches interview ever. During one of the most anticipated games of the season, we have our own Lola Knight on the field with Coach Skip Gunner. Lola? Thank you, Dick. Coach, the first half just ended. What happened out there? Well, Lola, you know, I know when we were on offense, I thought our offense was on the field and we were moving the ball. And then when we got on defense, well, our defense was on the field. And uh, I think our play reflected that. Indeed, indeed. What can we expect in the second half? Well, you know, we're going to get the ball here to start the second half. Uh, a lot of football left to be played. And, uh, you know, our special teams are going to be out there. They really got to they got to play for us. And uh, we're looking forward to it. We're looking forward to a, a good uh, second half. Got to eliminate those penalties. And, uh, you know, we got a great team. Excellent, indeed. Yes. Thank you so much, Coach. Go team. This has been every football halftime coach's interview ever. here is unity. I mean, each of us brought our skills to the table. Yes, Non. And if we do actually survive this, I'll never forget how you defeated that Gromolf, Monty. Agreed. And I will never forget the time you ran all out of plasma, but still managed to defeat one of Odom's personal guards. <laughs> Bring it in. For home on three. For home. For home. One, two. Hey, guys, guys. <laughs> Seriously, I, I have no arms, and hmm. I, I, I can't, I can't that's, see. That's, that's right. That's right. Yeah, okay. Group hug, then. Yeah. All right. Bring it in. <laughs> you are my new family. We're still together. Guys, <laughs> I've got them right where I want them. <laughs> Instagram Paul here. <laughs> How you doing? I'm back. Welcome to season 11. Later with Jason Sewell, we got some fun stuff to talk about today. Have you noticed the weather? Very interesting stuff. Well, I'm here to answer your hard questions and tell you about new technology that's going on in the world, noodling and Googling and Twitter. And a lot of people were making fun of Twitter and calling it different names. And so I think X, everybody knows what an X is. A lot of people did not know how to spell Twitter. That's what I heard on social. Yes, you know I had that turtle. I had that turtle a long time that I've uh, fed the strawberries to by hand, taught him how to do that. Got a big rat, big old rat in the house now that comes around. He's pretty fun. All the dogs under the house, uh, you know, uh, under the porch. Got so many dogs. I love the cats. Some cats don't even have names, they just run around. Don't name them all, but lots of pets. When they get thirsty, you gotta give them water. I found that out. Good talking to you. Thanks for listening. <laughs> Remember, be in the moment. Be, be still and be in the moment. Don't make a lot of noise. Bye. See you later. Hey, make the world know you're here, though. <laughs> I'm so glad we can finally be together, Romeo. And with all this money. Yes, Kim, now we can. I sent that jerk Fletcher someplace he'll never come back oh. from. I'm back. How? How did you come back? Looks like I've got you two right where I want you. <sighs> is in fuego. Instagram Paul. Hey, Instagram Paul coming at you. You know, whether you are uh, need one for school or need one around the house or you need a good uh, uh, doorstop, a flap top, a laptop, flap top, computer will make a good doorstop. And then when you do need to look something up, you just pick it up and, and use it. If you want to make sure you get one with a screen on it that you could, that lights up, you know, uh, you might want a touch screen. You got to think to yourself, do I want a touch screen? Do I want one that, uh, that I just use the, the mice with? Uh, and then you want to make sure you get one that you can 
insert your uh, your floppy disk in. I don't know if, uh, you know, mine, a lot of my computers do still take a, a, a floppy disk. And you know, uh, Peach's Big Butter Pants has broken three of her computers that she's got. That's my cousin. She gets a computer and she'll have it for about a week and she forgets which way that the, the thing opens and she'll tilt it back and break the hinges on it. So you gotta be careful with them. You wanna get you a good carrying case and you wanna get you a, a kind of computer that, that fits you. So when you when you go shopping, don't don't pick out the first one that you see. Look around a little bit. Make sure it's got all the, at least three different uh, color settings. There was a, a man that had a computer in his truck with him when he had a wreck. A young man ran him off the road and his computer uh, fell over and crashed in his truck and he tried to, to sue the, the kid. But uh, in court, the, the, the old man, uh, <laughs> Where's this story going? Oh, well, it's a crazy world. So get you a computer, get your laptop, keep it tied down in your car if you're traveling around out here. Don't let it crash and burn and literally crash uh, in, a, in a car. Instagram Paul, take my advice. Get your computer, get it up, get your name on it, and don't let somebody steal it. Welcome back everybody, Brandy Goddard is still here. We're up in the studio, at least I am, and we're gonna do some exercises that you can also recreate from your very own home. I'm not sure exactly what Bo's gonna do, but it's gonna be fun. I'm, I'm coaching. Okay, you're, you're our Quality lifestyle coach. Quality control. I love that. Okay, yes. Brandy, what do we start with? Okay, we're gonna start with the side lunge. Yeah. I like these because they're good on your knees. You're not stepping forward on the kneecap, so okay. it also it's good to work lateral movement. So you're gonna start hip width apart, Step out with one leg and the other leg is straight. So you are bending forward and your hips are back. Okay, yeah, yeah, then, thank you, thank yes, you. Yes, step forward, thanks. Yes. And then step again. Okay. Probably push off on the bent leg. We'll do one more time on okay. this side. So sit back and keep your abs in. And then you'll do like 10 on the right. Okay. Just practice the other side. Okay. So again, step out, sit back okay. into it, toe to the front straight, door. Toe to the front and straight and leg. push it back in. Oh. Yeah, okay. Abs tight, Jason. Abs yes. tight. Pull them in. All Let's right, yeah, you can more. suck it in, is what you're saying. Okay. And then push off your booty, oh. and then there you go. Those are great. You can do it at home. No that. weights. Good. Yeah, no weights. Yeah, that was easy. No, so you can do like high reps, or if you want to add um, dumbbells you have in your house, just do that and shorten the reps. That's funny. We just did something very simple, only a few times. I can already tell my heart nice. is racing, which is good, yeah. right? Yeah, it helps your metabolism stay. I noticed you got some weights. Who yes, we're going to work on the upper body. Okay. So again, these are um, back here are posture muscles that kind of relax a lot, and they're small muscles, um, and you don't need, you do not need heavy weights for this. Okay. So, we're gonna bend over and I'll grab my weights. So what if you don't have weights? Like I have these trophies. Can I, I use those? I think trophies are perfect. Okay. Seriously, I've got these use trophies. Water. <laughs> they look nice. Yeah. So you, a, but you can use stuff you have around the house, right? I think it's yeah, the point. You, you can use water bottles. Um, yeah, you won't want a lot of weight. You can actually not use any weight. And bags of chips. Uh, bags of chips. Cans, you know that, cans, water bottles. Yes. Seriously, those are actually very helpful. So, okay. Hips are back, your eyes should be in front of your feet, so that way your upper back's not rounding. Okay. So make sure his back is straight, sir. Thank you. All and right. we're gonna go okay. straight out. Straight out. Straight out. Down. Yeah. Out. There you Good. go. Down. So it is very important that your abs are in. Keep going, I'm gonna watch for a second. Okay. Good. And so Check his on work. this. Check his work. Yep, squeezing right here. And you don't do one more. You don't wanna raise up and go in here. Okay. So you raise up. So do one more. Yeah, so he drops his shoulder, you're gonna get right there. So that way you're working the back of your shoulders. It's gonna help you stand up taller and keep your back strong. I love it. Yeah. Wait, hey, Bo, hold this hardware for a second. Oh. Yes. Now, I, you got one more, yes. right? Okay. Yes, one more. That? So we're gonna work our core and your arms and add a little legs all together. Okay. So what you need to do is be in a plank, and I'll show you two options. So you'll be here, make sure you're nice and tight, you're not sagging like this. Okay, okay. And you're gonna turn your knee to the opposite arm, just like that. And the second part of it is you can either step out one leg at a time or step it up a notch and just hop out. So you'll just go one knee up, okay, and then out and in, All just right. like that. So drop it, give me 20, Jason. Planking. Yep. Show me again with the knee over to the opposite hand. Yes, like a little bit more abs, yeah. Ooh. Then we'll just hop out and in, and then just do it one more time. Feel that whole combo. All right. Yeah. We're going to keep working on this whole combo. We got more happening later. Stay with us. Yeah. There you go. Good.
I mean, I started running back when I was in college, which is going back along like into early 2000s, I guess. When I went to grad school in Ohio, I really started to take it seriously because there was a group of uh, runners who I would go out running with. And so it's been a consistent part of my life ever since then, probably 03, 04. I wanted to get healthier, right? So in February of 2020, um, I started getting some apps on my phone that were just kind of my personal health journey to watch my calorie intake and things like that. When the pounds were falling away, I guess, it, I became swifter, more agile. So um, anyway, but that was early days, right? So like February, March, I was still kind of running my normal stuff. And then I kind of went big and went started to do 150 miles a month or 200 miles a month. And then around October of this year, I, I looked at my mileage and I said, you know what, I could actually complete the number of miles in the year. I could do 2020 miles in 2020. So I kind of just made a mental note that that was my goal. And then I ran a lot the past three, four months of the year to, to see that goal through. So I did the math and it's about 4 million steps uh, that I have done this past year, which is crazy amount of movement but if you think about it to see anything through man it takes about four million steps you know like just doing an episode of later with jason sewell feels like there's about a four million step process to get through a season so you know i think it's an encouragement to folks that although it might seem like a lot of i did a lot of physical uh stuff this year people as, as long as you approach it one step at a time you can get through anything because I know what happens for me is if I set myself this lofty goal, it looks great on paper, but if I don't achieve it, that's when it kind of, it defeats me, right? So I then am like, I can never achieve that. And I put it on a shelf and I don't do it again. As opposed to this, where I was running, you know, when I started in February, I was running maybe 80 miles a month for February and March, which might seem like a lot to some people, but it was achievable. And so I started to started there, and then I increased my mileage every month, 11 months out of the year. The last one in December, I hit my goal and I kind of took a break because I, I made it finally. But right, but if you look at my chart, incrementally, even if it was a mile more, keep putting left in front of right, moving forward one step at a time, and eventually you'll not only get there, but you'll be able to turn around.